came down through the Stokes family and the last Stokes to have it was Will Stokes and I don't know where he came from but I do know that he married Agnes Hammond and she came from Atwood or in the Atwood area of Ontario so if whether he came from there or not I, I don't know where he came from I do know there are no end of Stokes in the Niagara area and if you ever look in a phone book you'll see Stokes everywhere and um, the Will, Will and Agnes did not have any children and my father came and lived with them room and boarded and they introduced my parents to one another and my mother was from Tilsonburg and my father was from Shawville, Quebec and uh, so when Agnes passed away my father bought the house and contents but she had said you could keep the cane and so on so other than that um, so the cane's got the hidden sword in it the hidden, and, yeah. and made of bamboo right and metal um, tip on the ground end and then a metal collar up near the sword and then the head of it um, what I would assume would be deer bone, but I don't know that for sure. Mm -hmm. and, and there's a little chip out of the, the beak kind yeah. of. As a matter of fact, there is a metal piece through the center to hold the bone head through mm -hmm. the uh, cane. Now, roughly how old would you, were the people, what time frames did come into your hands <coughs> for in, your families? In... Um, 1953, 1953, my father had bought uh, Mrs. Agnes Stokes' uh, home in Tilsonburg. Mm -hmm. And the address was 55 Washington Grand Avenue. <clears throat> and so I was born and raised in Tilsonburg. Mm -hmm. So, and Will Stokes had a grocery store in Tilsonburg. And I, I don't know anything other, I remember having been in the store, but I I don't remember much about it. And so he passed away, oh, I would say probably in 43 or 47, 1943 or 1947, in that area. And she, Agnes passed away in 1953. How old would he have been when he passed away, roughly? Well, he would have been... <clears throat> I'm assuming he was well in the 70s or 80s or must have been in there somewhere when he passed away. So, you know, this he probably inherited this not, you know, a long time after Brock had it. Mm -hmm. So, if whether the Stokes were related or somebody got the contents or what, I have no idea how, how it got to the Stokes other than I would think the Stokes are, is a name associated with Niagara. Now you were mentioning near the head there's a hole through and there used to be... Uh, oh, my, Agnes had put uh, a history through there on a string but the hole was there and she didn't, yes. she didn't create the hole. But she tied... History. The history and the history somehow or other... Disappeared over the years. It fell off somehow or other and so consequently uh, um, other, that the history that I'm giving you is, is just that my recollection right. of yeah. the history of it since I've known them. Mm -hmm. So they had no living relatives other than Agnes had two sisters, one living in London and one Alice, her sister who had never married, came to Tilsmer and lived with Agnes after her husband Will had passed away. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, 